This is my world's fastest Hackintosh ever. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X, 32-core Ryzen Tosh Monster, running macOS Catalina. In my previous four videos, I showed you what hardware I chose and why, how it performs overall, how it in CPU performance totally crashed the most expensive 28-core 2019 Apple Mac Pro, how it can run Adobe applications, how well it runs Apple Logic Pro 10, and today I pimped it up even further and installed two AMD Radeon 7 GPUs. How these most powerful GPUs for Hackintosh perform in this build, I will show you in this video some benchmark, but most importantly, real life video editing performance. But first, if you are new here, my name is Teresa from Morgonau.cloud and I do Hackintosh builds since macOS 10.4 version, so it's already more than 15 years. I have all you need for how to build a Hackintosh in my videos on my YouTube channel, so check them out. I also provide personal individual support with Apple Mac, Windows, Linux and server builds. So if you would need any help, just join my website membership, link is in this video description. And I will help you while Skype video call and remote session directly to your computer in front of your eyes. Make sure you click the subscribe button below, hit the bell next to it and choose all notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos. AMD Radeon 7 is currently the most powerful GPU you can get for your Hackintosh running macOS Mojave or macOS Catalina. It's in fact equivalent of the Apple AMD Radeon Vega Pro 2 card, available only for the 2019 Mac Pro. In fact, Radeon 7 and the Vega Pro 2 card are neck to neck with similar performance. The major difference is just in price. While the Apple card costs $2,800, the Radeon 7 you can get for as low as $500, that means quite 6 times cheaper. So what's even better than Radeon 7 or Apple Vega Pro 2 card? Of course, better are two of these cards instead of just one. So when I have already most powerful Hackintosh in CPU related tasks, why not to have also most powerful Hackintosh by GPU performance? So let's start. First I will show you OpenCL benchmark which you can easily run also on your computer for comparison. So these two Radeon 7 GPUs scored together in the OpenCL benchmark 102,121 points. That's absolutely insane. And now it's time for the actual real life test. I will show you performance on my real life project, my previous video and also the so called candle benchmark. You can test yourself your own performance on your Hackintosh or Mac. I prepared for you all files needed, link to it you can find now in this video description. So first I will connect my super fast NVMe. So in DaVinci Resolve, first check the preferences if you have correctly allocated the memory and GPU. So as you can see, I am using these two GPUs for two displays and also for compute with metal acceleration. So if you will go to the color tab and load 66 blur nodes, why not? Here we are interested in the timer, the frame rate which you are getting. So hit play and I can see that's not much. Okay, do you know why? Because we have the clean feed here. So let's disable the second display. Now it should be better. Yeah, 27, 28, 27, 28 frames per second. Really, test it yourself on your computer and you will see it's not an easy benchmark. 30, 32, that's nice. Okay, so now let's load the six noise reduction nodes. 27, 26, you know, really, you can see the GPU are fully maxed out. You know, this is not an easy, easy benchmark. And now 
and maybe you can see, you can hear now the fans are kicking in but it's not terrible it's still not terrible okay so let's move on to the actual real life project my last video so 4k timeline as always 30 fps when i will show you what my current media source media are apple progress 422 30 fps 4k resolution 10 bit you know i will enable for you now again the clean feed you know the performance in the timeline that's simply insane look at that by the way davinci resolve database is on the nvme disk inside of this computer but my source media is on my file server dedicated only to live video editing connected via the 10 gigabit ethernet card here and i will be exporting directly to the 970 pro nvme disk to avoid any possible bottleneck and maximize the throughput so as you can see here my source media are on the volume nas production that's this network share connected over the 10 gigabit ethernet so let's try the export so let's say test export great add to render queue start render and now look at the overall frame rate i am getting 170 fps on a 4k project dialing it's five six seven times faster than real time that's insane so let's have a look at the utilization of course gpus are completely maxed out and 64 threads are also but not completely maxed out but they are doing quite heavy job 186 frames per second yeah that's insane Oh my lord, so this project is 9 minutes and 7 seconds long and it was rendered in just a 1 minute 34 seconds. Darling, that's absolutely insane. So, as you can see, all GPUs were utilized, CPU also, all 64 threads utilized. That's insane. So... So, as you could see, this 3970X Hackintosh with two AMD Radeon 7 GPUs is simply really insane build. Both GPUs were fully utilized. That's why I used for this test DaVinci Resolve. Because if I would test it with Adobe Premiere, the performance would be terrible. But not because this Hackintosh would not be well prepared, but because that Adobe crap is highly unoptimized application, which simply cannot fully utilize full potential of your CPU and GPUs. So even if you would run Adobe Premiere on Google's supercomputer, the performance would be still terrible. While Final Cut is much better in terms of utilizing the hardware, it cannot beat DaVinci Resolve. By the way, comparison of all those apps' performance is also in my production timeline, so stay tuned for that video. One interesting information, another advantage of having two Radeon 7 GPUs instead of just one besides its higher performance is silence. If you would have only single Radeon 7 in your Hackintosh or Mac Pro, you would be able to hear it while heavy rendering. It can be really noisy. Well, not in this Fractal Design Define R6 case, with the side panel closed, because this case is simply amazing in terms of dampening the sound. So, in this configuration, while video rendering in DaVinci Resolve, as you could see, both cards were heavily utilized, but you could not hear it even with the side panel open for the sake of this video. The same behavior I noticed when testing these two Radeon 7 GPUs in my 2019 Mac Pro. For its price, around $500 for one, it's absolute steal. So for around $1,000, you get the same performance as if you would get a 2019 Mac Pro with two Apple Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPUs, which would cost you $5,600. So you can save $4,600 just on GPUs. 
detailed list of exact components I used to create this Hackintosh monster build. You can find now in this video description. By the way, I prepared a detailed comparison how this fastest Ultimate Threadripper 3970X Hackintosh stacks against my 2019 Mac Pro. And it's quite sad story. Sad for me. Because my Mac Pro was $24,000 and this Ryzen Tosh is 5 times cheaper. But in my Mac Pro I have the Apple Afterburner card. So can this 3970X Hackintosh monster beat even the Mac Pro with the Afterburner in Apple ProRes? So if you are interested in that video make sure to click the subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to it and choose all notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos. And if you would need any help with Apple Mac, Windows, Linux or server build, you can get my personal individual support, Skype video call and remote session directly to your computer in front of your eyes. Just join my website membership on morgonaut.cloud or patreon.com slash morgonaut. So, I hope I made your day again a little better. If so, please click on the like button below and share this video so it can help to more people. So, that's all for today. See you next time, my Hackintosh friends.